Hi I am George from Max Automotive. I want to inform you about 2018 Rolls Royce Phantom. Check this out guys. The original Rolls Royce Phantom was unveiled in 1925, making it the longest continuously used model name in automotive history. Over those 92 years, empires and nations have risen and fallen, and the fortunes of the British luxury car maker have been equally turbulent. The company we now know as Rolls-Royce Motor Cars only dates back to 1998, when the automotive side of the company became part of BMW. The first car to be produced in the new era under the Bavarian Motor Works was the Phantom, which by then was the seventh generation of the car. After a 14-year production run, a new generation of what some have called the best car in the world is rolling off the production line at Goodwood, and we had the chance to drive the Phantom 8 in the Swiss Alps to see just how much perfection could be improved upon. Much of that aggression softens toward the rear, though, as coach lines and creases alike fade to nothing, leaving a smoother, more elegant shape. This helps the new Phantom transition to a less bulky back end where its boat tail style body tapers into a less imposing rear. Overall, simplicity and reductionism have been the watchwords to create a cleaner and less fussy exterior, whilst still looking imposing. Entry into the car comes through the massive doors, the rear of which Rolls Royce calls coach doors, but colloquially might be better known by the unfortunate moniker suicide doors. This allows the whole car to open up like a gate to a stately home, inviting you into the sheer luxury within. Sitting in the rear seats of a Phantom is usually reserved for the hyper-rich or bluest of bloods, but you don't have to be Her Royal Highness to appreciate the lamb's wool carpets or the exquisitely soft leather-clad head cushions that make sure you are enveloped in soft comfort. If there is a more comfortable place to sit in the world than the back seat of a Rolls-Royce Phantom, I haven't found it. Once inside, the doors can be closed from a seating position with the touch of a button. Alternatively, your chauffeur can hit a button on the exterior door handle. Either control will softly bring the door in and gently seal Sir or Madam inside a cocoon of silence. And that silence is probably the single largest focus in the Phantom, for not only is it the most comfortable place to sit, you struggle to find anywhere more capably of keeping the outside world at bay, orally, at least. Continental was tasked with developing a tire that would create the least amount of road noise while maintaining comfort and performance, and it took over 100 prototypes to get the noise down to a level that the engineers would accept. An ultra-soft rubber compound combined with a complex interior structure keep the ride smooth and the noise down where the cart touches the road. Noise deadening continues in the chassis. Improvements to the design here not only delivered a chassis 30% stiffer than on the previous Phantom, but lighter, too. Instead of keeping the weight saving, Rolls-Royce added in more sound deadening materials, bringing the weight right back up to 5,643 pounds. That extra effort to reduce noise pays dividends, with noise being reduced a further 10% compared to the previous Phantom, a car that was already whisper quiet. And there is a lot of sound to keep at bay, a substantial amount of which would come from the engine. The all-new 6.75-liter, twin-turbo V12 can barely be heard in the cabin as it kicks out 653 brake horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. The 8-speed ZF transmission ensures that the car stays in its narrow power band which kicks in at only 1,700 revolutions per minute but starts to drop again by 2,500 revolutions per minute. Anyone who regularly takes their Phantom over that range, though, is not doing it right.